The bouts were not all about men. The women fights proved more popular with many boxing fans getting more entertainment from them. Rosodongo from Kisumu was the toast of the afternoon after she knocked out Mary Mwatu in the bantamweight category. Kule Kisumu ambapo na train, niko peke yangu. Sana ninge penda kuwa imiza wa sitana wenzangu ambayo tuko nao kule Kisumu kwa ingie katika umu chezo. On the men's side, the welterweight category fights raised the roof. It pitted bitter rivals Kenya police against Kenya defense forces who are back in the league competition. Victor Nyang of police won by the narrowest of margins on points against Victor Diambo of KDF. The coast team was the most impressive team of the competition after emerging third overall. Their biggest win came in the super heavyweight category where 21-year-old Collins Ojala knocked out Peter Opondi of Kenya police. Uh, kwa muda mrefu sana hatukuwa na vijana wetu hapa kutoka coast leo uh, nina furaha kwa bidii ya chama chetu cha Mombasa tuko na boxer wanne The Boxing Association of Kenya is now working on a plan to get a foreign coach to prepare the Kenya boxing team for the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil This will be a 3 year plan after the selection of two boxers in each category at the end of the league in November Inchi zingine tayari zimeanza kutayarisha Olympics. Why not us? Eh? Ni kitu wa kusikitisha tuongojee hati wiki tatu wiki nne zimebakia ndio tuende tukatengeze timu ya kwenda Olympics. Hiyo hatutaweza. Round 3 of the league will be held in Nyeri next month. Michael Kinyi for Citizen Sports.